So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0102 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0102 code? Well, it's a mass or volume circuit low input. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer needs to know how much air or oxygen is going into the engine. And so it uses a sensor called the mass airflow sensor or the MAF sensor. And it uses this sensor to measure how much oxygen is going into the engine so it can get the air fuel gas ratio mixture right. And it's seen a problem with this circuit, so it's going to be troubleshooting to know why. And some possible causes of a P0102 code, but it could be a failed or dirty MAF sensor, could be in the wiring, and possibly a blown fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate the MAF sensor on your particular engine. And they're usually easy to spot. It'll be right by the air intake box, right where you change out the air filter, there'll be a MAF sensor. The MAF sensor will be located right there. It's usually like a one or two inch by two inch device that would be bolted in somewhere right after the air filter so it can measure the air going into the engine. And after you locate it, the next thing to do, check out this wiring harness real good. Be sure everything's plugged in and everything looks good. And basically just keep in mind, if anything's wrong with the wiring, it's gonna cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. Also keep in mind that these are on a fuse. For example, here's a 2015 Honda CRV, and this is a fuse that's up underneath the dashboard on the driver's side, and it'll be labeled ACG fuse number two. And dependent on the Honda, this fuse is also shared by other devices. So for example, on this 2015 Honda CRV, this fuse also controls the EVAP purge valve, the reverse lockout cylinder, the secondary oxygen sensor, and a few other things. So if you're getting other problems going on in the vehicle and you're not quite sure what's going on, but you've got other things that are also acting up, you might have a blown fuse. So that's something to keep in mind. This can change. It can be a little vague sometimes on which fuse it is. Sometimes you have to do a little research, but there's usually a fuse for these MAF sensors. And if they blow, then it could cause an issue. So that's something else to keep in mind. And so if you check that all out and that all looks good, wiring looks good, no blown fuses or anything like that, then the next thing you can do is that you could clean these MAF sensors because quite commonly they don't go bad. They just need to be cleaned up. They get dirty from, from all the air and debris going by them. There's a special cleaner called Mass Airflow Sensor Cleaner that you could clean them up and see if that solves the problem. Especially if it's really dirty, it probably just needs to be cleaned up. They are low cost devices, so they're not like real high cost parts. So a lot of people would just go ahead and replace it. You can also test these sensors if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about doing that. But if the wiring all looks good and there's no blowing sensors or anything like that, and you, and you cleaned it up and so it's not dirty, then very likely at that point, that MAF sensor just failed and just needs to be replaced. And so that's basically it. I just want to do a real quick video on how you go about fixing a Honda with the P0102 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helped you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.